Hello, it's Doris with Aldi Books. I just wanna pop in for a super duper quick April wrap up and then a little chat about my plans for uh, what comes after April? May. <laughs> a little May TBR talk, okay? So I just got home from work. So, you know, the chemistry brain is a little, little befuddled. So bear with me. Um, but if you watched my vlog, the seven books in seven days vlog, you will know that I accomplished my goal. I read 10 books in April. I'm pretty proud. So I only read one book to prize book, but I've actually read two because I read one previously. I got my book to prize taken care of, check. Uh, that was the last one and a biggie. Um, <clears throat> I read two translated novels, so that was pretty cool. I read a mystery, um, Katie Lumsden's, loved it. Uh, I read a graphic novel. I read a YA romance, the new Talia Hibbert. That was pretty cute. Um, I read a middle grade, another Grace Lynn. I absolutely love her. I want to read all of her books. And I read, oh, the sci-fi, the sparrow. Um, good chat on that soon. And, oh, the novella, the Claire Keegan, another lovely writer. Um, short story, really. So, 10. Yay. So, um, May, I need to be more focused uh, because May has a lot of heavy hitters to take care of. Um, not the least of which, the greatest, the greatest of which is the book two prize. Uh, I have four nonfiction uh, to get through. And I know at least one of those is a tome, if not two. I think just one, but the others... I think I've got one tome, one semi-shorty, and then two like solid 400 pages is what I think. But anyway, um, so yeah, let me show you my list here in my journal and um, chat a little bit about that and then see what else I have to show you. All right, so here's my journal, my April list, and then the May TBR ideas. Um, Sounds Wild and Broken, Springathon. So Heidi and I are going to buddy read that one. I'll show it to you in a minute. But I wanted to check in with the calendar. So Springathon is running at least the first two weeks of May in the whole month. If you would like, I would like definitely. And notice Mid-Month Book Bash is rounding out Springathon. So this month it's going to be the 12th through the 15th. So it's always the weekend, the extended weekend, Friday through Monday, um, of or immediately after the 10th of the month. So therefore May is going to be the 12th through the 15th. And I am pretty sure I'm gonna be focusing <laughs> focusing on Springathon, reading for that, exciting. So yes, um, my first Springathon read is going to be Sounds Wild and Broken, Sonic Marvel's Evolution's Creativity and the Crisis of Sensory Extinction by David George Haskell. He is without a doubt one of my favorite authors. Um, just the intersection of nature and nature writing and just literary fabulousness. His command of the English language is stunning. So paired with nature and you know, his like scientific knowledge is just glorious. I love his writing so, so much. And then uh, the book naturalist pick for May is The Next Great Migration. Well, it's an author spotlight. So the one I'm reading by Sonia Shaw is The Next Great Migration, uh, The Beauty and Terror of Life on the Move. So this is about animal migration as well as uh, human migration. So this one will also work for Springathon. So two for one there. So that is 
four for book two prize and these two that is six for sure six heavyweight nonfictions. so i have really been um in the mood to read just a fiction novel that you can really sink into for a while so i'm going to show you those and let you like vote on one like which one do you want me to read or maybe not. I'm leaning toward one maybe, but I'm not sure. There's one I'm not in the mood for and one that I think I am and one that I thought I was, but this other one's usurped it. <laughs> but I'm not gonna tell you. Maybe you can guess, maybe you can guess. So the other thing I need to focus on is um, Springathon. So I have those two and then I think the other two or three spots um, I want to read some of the fiction that I have on Storygraph that I, in my first Springathon announcement video, I'll link both of those below. Um, but the first one is a lot of fiction. And I think that Wayward, I forget the author, um, but it's like, I think, um, the naturalist slash witchy but not really a witch people just didn't know better vibes is what i think it is it looks really engrossing i want to read it soon so yeah i want to do some not some fiction to balance out all this non-fiction so springathon some virtual fiction online fiction and then um the bookshelf over there let me show you let me show you and you tell me which one you think I'm going to read or I should read or, you know, both of the above. Let's go see. So I have these gorgeously color coordinated books here that sit by my flowers, which I don't have at the moment. Sorry, dude. You can be here with us. It's all my dude. This is so funny. <laughs> anyway, I have a Margaret Atwood's alias Grace. I have the Makioka Sisters by Junichiro Tanizaki. And I have, oops, The Love Songs of W.E. Du Bois by Honore Fannin Jeffers. So, what do you think? Hmm, what do you think, dude? You got ideas? Okay, I think I did a pretty good job of not showing any partiality there. So, which of those three hefty literary fiction um, novels do you think that I should or will pick up this month? Vote below. And yeah, I hope you'll join me in Springathon um, or uh, Book Naturalists or min month book bash or all the above join in the fun um and let's read about nature and the great outdoors thanks so much for watching bye what a view right i love it i need to go climb a mountain oh there's a bird hey bird